steering going as I welcome to the stage the wonderful Simon Taylor! <laughs> Some fun? Yeah. All right, let's talk about Muslims. So, <laughs> there's been a bit of tension in Australia with the Muslim community recently. Where did that come from, America? <laughs> Sorry, wrong inflection. Where did that come from, America? And <laughs> I was reading about the Reclaim Australia rally we recently had on a very reputable website called Twitter.com. And the tweets were coming up, anti-Muslim rally photos, anti-Muslim rally this, Reclaim Australia rally is just an anti-Muslim rally. But in my Twitter feed, up came a tweet from a fun facts website, just randomly. And it said, fun fact, mosquitoes have killed more people than all wars in history. Which I think we can all agree is a pretty fun fact. <laughs> I think we're all having a lot of fun with that. And I read that and I thought, well, then what are these rallyers doing? Mosquitoes are the real enemy. Because I don't know about you guys, but I've never been bitten by a Muslim. <laughs> never! Not once! I've never been in bed at night trying to get to sleep with a Muslim man just going, uh, uh, Allah Akbar, get out of here, man. <laughs> Mosquitoes are the real enemy. Not all mosquitoes, the majority are moderate mosquitoes. <laughs> Just the extreme ones that make the others look bad. And what does Reclaim Australia Rally mean? Because who calls it Australia anymore? We don't say the A, what do we say? Australia! Don't say the A, hold on to the A. Just say Australia. Because you can use that A for other things. Like turning a statement into a question. It's pretty good. Hey, that's how you use it. <laughs> we do that all the time. If you have a friend named Rob and a friend named Steve, don't say good day, Rob and Steve. There's two O's in that good. Hold the O's. Just say good day, Robbo, Steve-o. That's where you use them. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the Australian language is made up of different cultures anyway. There's English and Chinese in there. Right? English is a flat tone language, like ha, lo. Chinese is a tonal language, like ni, how, down and up. You put them together, you get Australian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Do you know Mandarin is the second most spoken language in Australia? I don't even think enough of us speak it still. Let's learn Mandarin, what a great language. Let's get in on that. Right, one word can have different meanings depending on the tone. For example, ma, flat tone, means mother. But ma, going down, means scold. So if a mum scolds you, it's like ma, ma. If two mums scold you, it's like ma, ma, ma. If three mums scold you, it's like ma, 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 ma. What a great, <laughs> let's learn that. That's the culture I like. That's the culture I like. Because we, we claim things are cultural. Like in, in Melbourne, for example, we say our biggest cultural event is the Melbourne Cup. Is it? Or is it just rich people racing their pets? <laughs> you know those posh white men who are so upper class they sound like the horses they own? Because they're very proud about that, Brad. I'm privileged to be at the races. <laughs> Because I get upset every year when one of those beautiful, majestic creatures gets injured and has to be put down. That sucks, doesn't it? That sucks. Spe yeah, it totally sucks. Especially when it's on the tram and she's wearing a nice dress. It's so... <laughs> so upsetting. He's with me. Because you can't call it a cultural event if the people who go to these races de-evolve. All they do is drink and to the point they become animals. Like men are like bourbon and cokes, bourbon and cokes. They become gorillas like I'm gonna piss in that bin. And the ladies start nice in their high heel shoes and their floral dresses and their fascinators all excited like, whoo, gonna the races girls, whoo, gonna do shampers and strawberries, come on, whoo. And they slowly deform as the day goes by. Whoo, shirts girls, we're out of shirts! We're out of shirts, come on! And they just end up as velociraptors just,
The horses are looking around like, who are these animals? I don't even think we should go to the races. We should just watch drunk people on their way to the races. That should be the sport. Have a commentator on the tally. You turn it on in the morning, hear them say, and they're up and out of bed and already into the champagne. Right out of the gate, they are smashed before breakfast. The women are getting ready now. They're putting on their fascinators. That's $500 they've spent on feathers. The men are getting ready now. They're putting on their jackets and their ties and their board shorts, cos once a wanker, always a wanker. Now they're on the tram, they're gonna find for not having a ticket. That's the first of many dollars they're gonna lose today. Now they're at the races, they can't get in the main entrance, so they have to go round the outside. Round the outside. They're getting stuck in the bar now, they're getting into the beers. The shots, the beers, the shots, the beers, the shots. Oh, one too many Jaeger bombs and they're walking home drenched in their own vomit. It's a photo finish and that one's going on Facebook. That's the race we should watch. I'm Simon Taylor. Thank you. Good night.